So now what I want to do is give an overview of this very important rule, the one where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. This is known as our profit maximizing rule. So marginal revenue, we are saying, equals marginal cost. And the reason why we're saying that is because this determines how much the perfectly competitive firm will produce. Let's first talk about how does this look. Well, as we just saw in the previous pen cast, here's my overall market. It dictates for me for the individual firm, right? So lots of firms make up a market. Notice again, lowercase q. Here's my price, equaling my demand, equaling my marginal revenue. My marginal cost, if you remember back from uh, the previous chapter, marginal cost is a J-shaped curve. And as you can tell you here in this rule, this point right here represents the point where MR equals MC, which is determining how much this perfectly competitive firm will produce. If you remember, the kind of uh, what we had just said was uh, in the previous um, in the previous video we had said that the perfectly competitive firm could produce as much or as little as it wanted to. This is telling us exactly how much they should produce. They should produce at the point They should produce at the point where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Now, what if it didn't? What if marginal revenue exceeded marginal cost? Well, then it would look like this. Let's say we were over here. This would clearly be a point where the marginal revenue exceeded the marginal cost. The firm would earn more than it would cost to make one more. So what would the firm do? The firm would make more. So you can see how this is not a stable equilibrium. If the firm was making more money than it was costing it to make one more, the firm would face an incentive to make more. And as it makes more, it's going to continually do that until it reaches the equilibrium. The opposite would be what if my marginal revenue was less than my marginal cost? That would look something like this right here. Here the firm would spend more than it makes. Obviously, this firm would want to make less. And as it makes less, it gets closer to the equilibrium.